Hi everyone, we are on lesson 42, which is estimating and rounding. And we are going to begin. Our first thing is 50 minus 70. I know that that is five times seven is 35. And then I just plunk, I, I put down one zero. Six times three, six, 600 times three, I know that three times six is 18, and then I put two zeros down. This one, um, I could write it out, but I'm gonna do it mentally, seven times 40. I know that seven times four is 28, and then I just put on the zero. Four times eight, one of my favorite um, math facts, four times eight is 32, and then I put on two more zeros. So four times eight hundred is 3,200. 3, now they want you to round to the nearest hundred. So I'm looking at this. Eight is our near eight hundred. Eight is our in the hundreds place. So we look next door. Um, one means that I'm going to round down to eight hundred. I have 685. I look here. This is my 100. I look next door to this number, 8. I know that it is greater than 5, so I know that I am going to round up. 425. I look, I look at my 100 column. I look next door. The 2, it's a, a 2. I know that it's going to be rounded down to 400. Um, this one is trickier because it's 2,575. I need to pay close attention to where everything is in regards to place value. So they want the nearest hundreds. So I ten ones, tens, hundreds. I look at my five. I go next door. I look at the seven. Seven is five, five everything five and greater rounds up. So I know that my five is going to go up. So I have 2,600. And then let's see, this one, I just need to make sure, this one, they want you, um, they want you to round these numbers to the nearest hundred and then add them. So 295 to the nearest hundred is 300, and 412 to the nearest hundred is 400, and then we are adding these together, 700. Same thing on here, 623, the nearest hundred is 600. We round 287 to the nearest hundred, it's going to be 300. We add these together, easy peasy, 900. This is why I love estimating so much because it really streamlines my work. It's not, a, it's, not it's, it's not as concise, it's not the exact answer, but it gives me a good ballpark. Um, in number K, in letter K, they say there are 19 rows of band chairs, five musicians in each row. How many musicians do they have? I could say do all of this and give you an exact number, but they want to know about how many. That's code for you don't have to do it all really exact. They want a ballpark answer. So I know 19 is great, but 20 is cl very close and it is a lot easier for me to multiply. So I round 19 up to 20 and then I multiply and it's even easier because I say two times five is 10 and then I put down another zero. There are about 100 musicians. And then finally, our last one, they say it's the how many days, about how many days are in six months. I know that we average, um, we have about 30 days in every month. So six months times 30 gives me about, we have about 180 days in six months.
And there you have it. Hope you love estimation. I hope you love the work and I will chat more with you later.